Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, your boy Cory, aka Crasher, here with the new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet discussion, and oh boy, we have ourselves a pretty hefty thing to get into. So we're going to be taking a look at an article on Dexerto that is titled, Every Pokemon That Won't Be In Pokemon Scarlet and Violet According to Leaks. Now right from the jump, a couple of things I want to get off my chest. Number one, we're not going to be going over every single Pokemon that didn't make the cut, Otherwise, we would be here all damn night, and I don't think any of us would want to have a video that long. And number two, because this is leaks, I will be putting up an obligatory spoilers warning as well. If you guys have actually clicked on this video and you do not want to be spoiled by leaks, now is your opportunity to click away from the video right now so you do not get spoiled by my content. I will also urge you guys to take this with a pinch of salt. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are ready, if you guys are steady, Buckle up, let's get into it. Leakers claim to have revealed the portion of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Pokedex made up of returning Pokemon, and they may have also been able to deduce which Pokemon won't be making a return in Gen 9. Did your favorite Pokemon make the cut? Well, I sure as hell hope so. I'd be pretty damn infuriated if my boy Incineroar didn't make Generation 9. Same with Golisopod, same with the Tapus, same with the likes of Eternatus, and who can forget Metagross? I need to have those Pokemon in Generation 9. Please, Game Freak. Do not deny your boy! On October 8th, Pokemon leaker Riddler Koo posted a mysterious bit of information regarding Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's Pokedex. It was later revealed the game would contain 400 Pokemon, 103 of which would be brand new species, leaving 297 to be returning Pokemon. They also posted an image seemingly containing the 297 Pokemon that we've already come to know and love, and the Pokemon Code Cracking server on Discord worked to decipher the image. Okay, so the game is going to be containing 400 Pokemon in the Pokedex. Just to kind of put things into perspective for a moment here, Generation 9, we have over 1,000 Pokemon introduced, and 60% of those Pokemon are not going to be in the game. Like, that is actually a pretty huge number to cut out. Ku revealed that there would be 40 plus Pokemon not in the regional Pokedex, but that could still be transferred over via Pokemon Home. So, as it stands, players can have 442 different species of Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, according to leaks. And here are the 500 plus that reportedly haven't made the cut. According to Makio and J Roses, there are 563 Pokemon that have been cut from the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet decks. These cannot be transferred over via home, but may return in DLC similar to Pokemon that were cut from Sword and Shield's base game. That is a lot of Pokemon cut from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm just saying, holy shit. Now, like I said earlier, we're not going to be going over all of the Pokemon that didn't make the cut for Generation 9. However, I wanted to showcase this right here. Notice that the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle lines are listed as not returning, but the Charmander line is missing from that list. And that would be because, ladies and gentlemen, Charizard gets special treatment once again in the new generation games. And this is coming from someone that is a huge Charizard fan. Like, I think that the other Kanto starters should be in Generation 9 as well, not just one out of the three. This is Sword and Shield all over again. As for the rest of the list here, this saddens me to be honest. The size of the list by itself is already nuts, but as we scroll on, many of my favorites have been cut. Snorlax, Lapras, Steelix, Skarmory, Kingdra, Legendary Beast, Lugia, Hoenn starters, Flygon, Hoenn fossils, Milotic, Metagross, that is a huge one, Game Freak, you're so freaking mean. The Legendary Weather Trio, Infernape, Seismitoad, Gigalith, Kofagrigus, Aegislash, Trevenant, Gorgeist, Tyrantrum, Evil Zygarde, Incineroar, Primarina, Beware, Araquanid, Silvalli, Kamo'o, the Island Guardians, the Ultra Beast, Meltan, the Galar Starters, Runerigus, Galar Fossils, the Sword and Shield Doggos, Eternatus, and Urshifu. Okay, so that actually kind of hurts my heart right now. Like, yowie wowie, as Bray Wyatt would say. This actually kind of depresses me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. And I know I listed off a fair amount of favorites, but that is a huge amount of Pokemon that I deem a favorite of mine that are on the list of not returning in Generation.
Generation 9. Like, that right there just feels like a big gut puncher right there. Now, despite all of this, I am still going to be open-minded and give the games a fair crack because I am personally really excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and to be able to experience a brand new adventure in Paldea. But I'm not going to lie, this is going to be living rent-free in my head for a pretty damn long time. So what are your guys' thoughts and opinions about what we discussed here in this video? And what Pokemon that are favorites of yours happen to have made the dreaded list of Pokemon not returning in Generation 9? Leave your feedback in the comments down below, ladies and gentlemen. You know your boy always loves to hear you beautiful people out. And that's going to be a wrap-up for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, and especially comment your thoughts down below, because I love hearing from you guys. Always have. That will never, ever change. So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day depending on your time zone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.